Hey guys, real quick, go to the link in our description down the bottom and join our Discord. That's where we're going to be taking all our requests for videos in the future. So join the Discord. That way you can put your requests there and we'll be happy to uh, oblige. All of our unfiltered discussions are there as well as awesome people who are excited to engage with you. So go ahead, click the link in the description and we will see you there. Subscribe. Some people don't know that helps us. <laughs>Tony Woods. Honestly, I had never heard of this comedian in my life, and he has been around longer than I have been allowed. But I was listening to Joe Rogan and Tom Segura, and they mentioned this man as one of the funniest people they've ever heard in their life. And they were telling a story about him being in a green room and having this big, long-winded conversation. And then Tony went out on stage and did an entire bit about what they were discussing and killed. And they were like, that's genius. He didn't even use his own material. He just went out and made stuff up and just talked about what we talked about and got a, a great response. Mm -hmm. So we're back into doing comedy. I want to laugh. So what better way to do it than with somebody that mentored Dave Chappelle? Let's do this. It's so good to be on a show like this, you know what I'm saying? I do shows, you know, like comedy shows, but you know, it's usually like a different roundup of uh, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm usually like the only uh, Virgo. <laughs> okay, y'all didn't hear me. <laughs> you, yeah, okay, a Virgo, like it don't just mean you're born in September or August. It's, you ever watch like an adventure movie? Right? And like you always know who gonna die first? <laughs> <laughs> the Virgo. Yeah, okay, now we we all on the same page. <laughs> yeah, and I, I've been I've been saying that for a while because it came up one time. I went to Canada one time to do a show. Right now by myself it was a group of us, but like not like Canada, like you know, like uh, uh, like no, like way up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we was like a mile from Santa Claus. <laughs> what, they, what they call the Arctic Circle, which was dope, because we, we flew up there, but we, like, not, like, from the airport. Yeah, we flew from somebody's backyard. <laughs> you know, he picked us up, and he's like, yo, you know, he picked us up from the real airport, then took us to his house, and then he said, we're going to fly that way. And I'm like, well, when are we going back to the airport? He goes, that's the plane right there, my friend. <laughs> and I was like, I thought that was a Corvette. Okay, you know what that is, right? <laughs> Do I have y'all speak English, right? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not. Because it. no, it had a tarp over, and we pulled a tarp off, and it was an airplane, right? And you know what you don't want to hear before you get on a machine that can fly? Hand me the drill. <laughs> I'm like, we got to put this together. <laughs> when you don't, you just, you just fold the wing down and, and tighten it up, right? And it was like I say, it was a group of us, very diverse, everybody from different walks, but I was the only. Virgo. <laughs> you know, and everybody's like, this is going to be great. And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> and I don't know if you ever flown on like a little plane like that. It's not like a regular plane where you just get on and sit on and find your seat. Mm -mm. You have to step on a scale. And I'm like, what's this for? He goes, well, we have to weigh you to see where you're going to sit on the plane and to determine how much uh, fuel we're going to put in it. And I was like, whoo. <laughs> Because it don't really matter how much I weigh, let's just fill it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, I was looking around to see if that sounded crazy to the rest of the horoscope. <laughs> and, and check it out, because of my height and my weight, I had to sit right next to him like a co-pilot. Yeah. <laughs> and we flying over the frozen tundra. Have you ever seen somebody do something that you don't know how to do, but you give them advice? <laughs> it's something you say, this motherfucker doing this wrong. Because <laughs> we fly like this. <laughs> Hey man, keep your foot on the pedal. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> See how cool I said that? I was nervous, don't get me wrong. But I had, I had to stay, you know, calm. Because, you know, I don't want to get excited. On those little planes, they have a voice recorder in case the plane crash. Yeah, the you know, and they can't identify the body. Right, so this is a voice recorder. And I didn't want it to be, oh well, yeah, and just say we crash. I didn't want to say, you know, I didn't want them to listen to it and say something like, oh shit, we about to crash. <laughs> you know what, motherfucker? I knew I shouldn't got on this fucking plane. <laughs> but I guess what, bitch? I'm not gonna die first, because I'm gonna stab you, stab you, stab you. <laughs> <laughs> and then they would have said something like, well, we can't identify the bodies, but pretty sure one <laughs> was a Virgo. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe I've never heard of this guy. That was great. Like in the beginning, I was kind of skeptical because I'm like, this can't, this guy can't be that funny. He had a slow build up, but he got to it. <laughs> I just, I just love it. Y'all speak English here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and that's one way you can tell he's a veteran is that he knows when the crowd's not quite in it. He knows to to mess with them and get them back oh. into it. Y'all do speak English. You know what that is, right? Corvette. Y'all, y'all sing. <laughs> Yeah, his 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 story about the airplane makes me laugh just because I, I know what he felt like. Uh, one of the times I had to fly on a puddle jumper, that's what I call him, it's like a two engine. He may have even been talking about the one that has the propeller in the front, but the one I was on was one of those that just comes from the main airport, but it had the two engines on each wing, they were pretty small. We were flying from Dallas to Shreveport, I believe, and I'm right on the wing. I'm, I'm sitting there right on the wing. Mm, poor soul. And the engine shuts on. I'm like, okay, this can't be good. And you don't really have a stewardess or flight attendant, whatever the hell PC is these days, but we don't really have those. So you're just kind of sitting there looking up at the front where the guy in the Trying to gauge the panic level. Yeah, and you're, you're watching them going, are they looking back at us? If they look back at us, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. They're going to say, did anybody see that? Look back, see if I saw that. <laughs> so it made me really nervous. Nervous enough to where I eventually did flag someone down and go, hey, I don't know if y'all caught this, but that engine just went off. And they told me, yeah, you only need one engine to fly. That just didn't make sense to me. And still to this day, it doesn't make sense. But I like Tony. That was good. So That was good. That was, that was hilarious. We're going to check out more of Tony. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's funny. I like that. Get in the comments. Let us know, you know if you do know any more of Tony's stuff, you know, pick us some clips and post them down below so that we can go check those out because we do, we do try to do comedy once a week. So like, share, subscribe, do the thing. Do the thing. And until the next time, guys, as always, come at me, bro. The bro down is over. Let's bro out.